Here's an example of precession. Suppose you have a spinning top. It's spinning at 100 radians per second. It's tilted at the moment at an angle of 30 degrees from the vertical. It's 15 centimeters from the pivot point to the spot where the mass is. The mass is a disc, two kilograms with a radius of 10 centimeters. I want to know how fast is it going to wobble around like this? What's the rate of precession? The main law of nature we're going to use is that torque is the rate of change of angular momentum. Here's how it goes. Let's calculate the torque. The force of gravity is going to be acting right here. We have the torque is R times F times the sine of the angle between them. And if this is 30, so is this. So we have 0.15 meters, 2 kilograms, 9.8 meter per second squared, sine 30. And we end up with a torque of 1.47 newton meters. We need to know how hard it is to get this thing turning. We need the moment of inertia. The moment of inertia for a disc is 1 half mr squared. So 1 half of 2 kilograms, 0.1 meter squared, is 0.01 kilogram meter squared. Next, we need to know, well, based on how fast it's spinning, how much angular momentum has it got? Well, the magnitude of it is going to be i times omega. And since omega is 100 radians per second, and this is 0.01, we end up with 1 kilogram meter squared per second. Here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to take that angular momentum vector and split it into a horizontal component and a vertical or z component. Since this angle is 30 degrees, so is this one. So the z part is cosine 30, and the horizontal part is sine 30. And so we end up with the angular momentum in the z direction is 0.86 kilograms meter squared per second. That's the part that doesn't change. The horizontal component, L sine 30, is 0.5 kilogram meter squared per second. That's the part that's going to be changing, because in a bird's eye view of this, say it's like here, and it's going to be wobbling around like this, the rate of that happening, if this is L and this is the change in L, and this is the change in phi, where phi is going to be the horizontal angle that it, the top is sweeping through. So change in phi, change in L, that's going to be related basically by delta L, is L horizontal change in phi. Which means delta L over delta T is L horizontal change in phi over change in T. But delta phi over delta T is what I wrote capital omega. It's the rate of precession. It's how fast the thing is wobbling around in a circle. So the torque is going to equal L horizontal times that. So finally, we get the rate of precession is 1.47 newton meters divided by 0.5 kilogram meter squared per second. So we get a capital omega, 2.94 radians per second, or a period of 2.14 seconds. That's how fast it processes.